Hey guys, how you doing today? This is going to be a very quick video. Um, it's so funny because I um, did a crackle technique. I have gotten, I've, I've done crackle techniques in the past and in, in previous videos. Um, but since I've been so blessed and have so many new subs, a lot of people have emailed me and asked me if I could do a faux, a faux crackle technique or a technique at home where you don't have to go by crackle medium. Can you see my hands going in the shadows? Okay, so this is a piece of wood. This will work the same on paper. It doesn't matter. Um, I just grabbed this because I'm throwing this in a random act of kindness that I'm giving out. So uh, I thought I would crackle it. Now you can see the crackle and the color underneath. The gist of crackle in general is that you want the top coat to crackle and show obviously what's underneath. So you can do white on black. You could do black on white. You can do red on purple. You can do, you can switch these colors up whatever way you want. Now, the reason that I have uh, this already painted is obviously it would uh, take a minute if I did it on camera. All this is, is, where'd it go? I know it's here somewhere. Anyway, it's black acrylic paint. Doesn't matter what brand. Um, obviously, or is that the black? Oh no, here it is. It is, what color are you? Dioxane purple. It looks black to me. Oh no. Anyway, it's a dark color. And all I did was I shook it up and I painted this whole thing that color. It looks black, it's purple, I don't even know. So you understand, so you just paint, whether it's your piece of paper, whether it's your piece of wood, whether it's your art journal page, whatever it is, paint it all one, um, one color. Leave it dry. Um, I've not used this with a glossy base coat. Uh, maybe I'll try that uh, on the opposite side of this to see. But uh, for now, all it is is a plain coat of paint and let it dry. Okay, once it's dry, this is what you'll do. Take a, Get your paintbrush that you're going to use. You could probably use a foam brush. I don't think it would make any difference, but I'm going to use a dry. Now you can see that purple coming out a little bit. I'm just going to use a dry brush doesn't have to, I mean, it was sitting in water. It doesn't have to be bone dry, but, you know. And I'm going to squirt, I'm going to try, to squirt some glue right here to put my brush in. Now, what I did on this is I squirted the glue right on it. And you can definitely do that too, like this, to add more. It doesn't matter. And then get your glue on. Get your glue on and just very lightly don't push the brush down too much and very lightly now you can see kind of as you put it down you can see some of the strokes of it of the brush that's okay um if you want it to be like smaller cracks you can go over it a little bit more i wasted a lot of glue oh well let's just rinse that off now what you're going to do is let that glue sit just for a few minutes. And let me just rinse my brush off and get this glue up because we all know I'll end up that with my arm on my arm. God, I wasted glue there. I don't like to waste. How do you like my, my uh, paper towel? It's all those beautiful colors I've been using. All right. I like to leave this lay here and dry overnight when I'm done so I can reuse it the next day or get glue all over my fingers. Why not? All right, we're just gonna set that over there. Okay, oh, now I'm gluey. Um, now, like I said, you wanna leave that sit and dry for a second, maybe a minute or two. And it's white school glue. This is white, like I should have said. This is white school glue, so it's very inexpensive, especially if you use a coupon at AC Moore, Michaels, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, online, wherever. I use white school glue for a lot of things. All right, now, probably should leave this sit for another minute but you can see the glue. Now I'm just using wicker white, but you can use whatever color you want on here. I'm gonna use this white so you can see it better on camera. Can you? I hope so. Let me just move you down a minute because the sun's coming in. And then I'm gonna just go like this, add some of my glue, my paint to my glue, and I'm gonna take this and I'm just running it down, running it down, running it down. Now that's a lot of glue I put on there, so I'm gonna go back. For a second, for a second, and take some more of that off, and leave it dry for a second. 
So let's see. I could hit it with the heat gun. Let me hit it with the heat gun, except my heat gun won't reach that far. So I'm going to try to stay on camera and move my water and see if you can see the crackles come up. You don't have to dry. You can just leave it sit. You can do this before you are done in your uh, doing arts and crafts or whatever you like to do. And just do it right when you're done and then come in the next morning and it'll dry. This just kind of speeds it up. Oh, you can see the cracks coming. Ow, that's hot, cow. All right. I didn't say I was smart. Okay. See the cracks coming? Yeah. All right. Just move. Now you can use a hot, uh, you can use a uh, hair dryer. This is a heat gun, but you can definitely use a hair dryer. Leave it dry on its own. You can see the cracks coming. Just don't leave it in one place for too, too long. Oh, I love it. The love is. I love to see the cracks come on the bottom. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to spend too much longer drawing it. I just want you to say. Now imagine doing um, all kinds of different colors on the bottom, on the top, whatever your, your idea is. Look at that. That is white school glue and acrylic paint. This happens to be on a piece of wood. But it don't matter. You can do it on paper or whatever you want. The, remember very quickly that you put your base color that you want to show through. Obviously, you see the black coming through. So you want that to put it out on your paper, wood, cork, whatever you're using. Leave it completely dry. That's all you want to do is put the acrylic paint on as your base coat and leave it dry no matter what color. Imagine if that was orange underneath there or red or pink. Look how pretty. Or do black and put pink on top or pink and black on top. It don't matter. It's yours. It's your ideas. Um, so you put your base coat on, leave it completely dry. Throw your glue on. Remember, the more you work the glue, the smaller the cracks will be. And that that's for you to have fun and experiment with because, you know, you can have it. It's yours. Your crack. It's your crack. Use it as you want to. Um <laughs> Oh, there's a bad joke in there. Um, so that look how beautiful this is. Let me just show you. It's beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that delicious? Don't you just want to like kiss it all over? I think you do. But that is it. I hope this helps all of you guys who um, who have requested this. And what reminded me, thank you, Carolyn, because I was watching her video and she was talking about the crackle, and I'm like, ah. That's right. I want to do it. That's one of the videos I want to do. So um, there you go. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And it is awesome. And as always, tag me on Google, on Facebook. You can find me on Facebook. It's Knitting and Things, uh, facebook.com slash Knitting and Things. You can find me there. I'm on Instagram, uh, Pinterest, Twitter, blah, 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 everywhere. I'll put the links below and uh, tag me if you do this on your journal page or whatever you use it on. Um, this makes a great background as well to uh, work with mixed media. Uh, so let me see it. And as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And as always, I just love you all so much. You guys are just so inspirational, wonderful. I just, I just am so happy. Happy, happy. I'm even cleaning some of this paint off. So I will see you guys in the next video. Leave down below if there's any videos you want me to uh, remake or show. I got a lot of them in my emails um, that I'm going to be remaking. And this was a fun one. So I know so many people will get such good use out of just school glue in your paint. So I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.